he is convincing. That's what Ed Prozac is. And that's not a word I hardly ever use for. What does that mean? In his context, the second he opens his mouth, you're on it. You're attached. And he keeps you there through a combination of good words that are communicative. The, the soulful, and I don't mean this in the you know, obvious musical sense, the soulful quality in his voice which keeps you there the whole time, keeps you engaged, keeps you attached, is always convincing. Meaning, I think from the second that a song starts to the second it ends, you're hooked. The, the sort of the beauty and the, the horror of writing music is that you won't, that you want to write that perfect song and everybody feels like they have that perfect song sort of locked away within them and that one day, you know, you'll be wise enough or clever enough or whatever to write that song, but in reality, I don't think anybody ever is, and, and I, I hope that sort of you don't ever reach that point. But for me, the way that I see it is that you know what that sounds like somehow, somewhere in there, in every song you write, you're just you're shaving one little piece off of a, a, a like a, a stone, like for a sculpture. But you're just taking one little chunk out and getting slightly closer to something that you won't ever actually reach. And that's the beauty of of, of it that that each one of these things is building to something that that pretty much doesn't exist, except for in your mind. One day I decided to listen to it, and I started playing California um, by Ed on YouTube, and I think it was about 30 seconds that it took me to pick up the phone and call my friends and ask for a meeting. and was immediately struck by a very young man who had a definite sense of purpose around him, and a confidence that wasn't arrogance, but a with self-belief that was something that I connected with. And then when I also saw him live for the first time, realizing that this wasn't a studio trick or something that needed to be done under controlled conditions, that this was something that was real live energy that could be transmitted in those kind of surroundings. I think identifying inside Ed's already his own group that Charlie McLean was not just a musician of great skill, but a, musical director and potential producer, and then beginning to test that has been one of the biggest successes so far. My main aim was to be able to really, truly bring his vision to life. He's very sure of what he wants uh, as a songwriter and as an arranger. He has, every everything is in his head, and my job isn't to dictate how his music is gonna sound. It's to bring all of his ideas together We've tried to keep things as live as possible, so when it came to the band recording, we would do all the band uh, together all at the same time so we could really capture the feel of the ensemble, everybody working together, because there's a really wonderful chemistry between all the musicians. And then we added all the pieces in um, afterwards, but rather than it being everything quite clinical and tracked, you know, in a, in a very sort of delicate way, we tried to make it even, even slightly raw just so we had a, a real sense of, of it being alive and this very vital sound that, that, that we have as a band and that Ed has as a, as a performer and songwriter. I would say that I never, I never try to write a song. I never try to say anything. I never set out to say anything. When I sit down to write lyrics especially, um, what I do find, though, is that the songs that I love the most, the songs that speak the most to me lyrically, are the songs that that had to be written. Like, I had no choice whether I was going to write them or not. They just sort of wrote themselves, and I will have done them in, like, no time at all. And it was just something that was on my mind, something that was on my heart that had to get out in one way or another. And that's sort of my way of expressing myself. I like to speak in images, and I like to speak uh, directly from whatever is uh, either bothering me or making me happy or or whatever, and I like not to, I, I try not to get in the way of that. I feel like I've never been more proud of anything we've ever put together. And everything just feels right for me at the minute, and um, the people that I'm working with are absolutely lovely. Uh, uh, the recordings sound fantastic, and we had such a lovely time putting them together, and, and I, I just feel like all the pieces are starting to get a little bit closer together for me, and I'm starting to understand what I do in a new way, and it's incredibly exciting. I have been absolutely blessed to find the lovely people 
that I call my friends here in Brighton and in, and in England and and I feel even though I'm from like essentially the other side of the world I feel like I've actually found my home and I I feel like I've found the people that I that I love and that I want to be around and that want to be around me thankfully and uh, it's it's an incredible song worthy experience I feel and it's and it's one of the most incredible feelings I've ever had and one of the biggest achievements I've ever had.